Hello, welcome or welcome back to Budget with Matt. This video is going to be my third. Mm. Yes, my third um, ca cash stuffing income, I was going to say. <laughs> my third cash stuffing for December. Why was that so difficult? I really don't know. To be fair, in my defence, it's like gone midnight, but that's my own fault. Um... So yeah, I was going to say, welcome to this video. Thank you for watching this video. I'm just on one today. Hold on, I need some water. Maybe that'll sort me out. Right. Um, yeah, so week three, this will be running from the 24th of December to the 31st of December. So actually, the last cash stuffing of this year, which is crazy. You know what that means. The time for change pot is coming so soon. Anyway, can't even think about that right now. Too excited. So let's just go ahead and see what we're working with. We should, of course, have our usual, which is £125, of course, because we are struggling out here these days. But I do have a life update, Ooh, which I'll get to at some point in this video, um, which hopefully will be putting me in a very, very much better position. What is wrong with me today? Right, shut up and just count the money. So, should be 125. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 25. Perfect. I will need more fives. Probably. Or definitely, I don't know. Maybe we can make it work. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just go ahead and get that all set up. And of course, we're going to start with the daily spending binder. So I've been using my card because I was delayed in obviously filming these for the last little while. So, ouch, I just punched my table. Um, unfortunately, I've got no coins to roll over, which is such a shame. Um, but... I didn't actually touch my spending money. I used all of like the money I spent this week out of like my events envelope, for example, when I went out. And then I didn't really do anything else in the week other than work. So I didn't spend the 20 pounds. So that is going straight over to one side for rollover, which is great. And for the next um, week, I'm getting another 20 pounds for spending money. However, it's obviously, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, I've got no plans. Christmas Day, I shouldn't be spending anything because we're going to be at home or like at family's house. Boxing Day, I have like a second Christmas um, with even more of my family. I have a huge family. Um, I'm off the 27th, but I've got no plans. Working 28th, 29th. What even day is the 30th? I don't know. And then the 31st. Oh, actually, I might be going up to London. Oh, that should come out of events, but events hasn't got any money. It's got like... Oh, that'll be my train ticket then. Don't know what else I'm going to be able to afford up there. I think I've got like £25. Oh, well, we'll make it work. So, yeah. Sorry. You don't even care. I don't know why I just went into all of that. Um, Beauty is not getting anything. That was just a last minute spontaneous um, plan to go to London for New Year's, by the way. I really hope it does happen. I don't see why it won't. But I was actually going to go um, with the girls from work. We were going to go for a meal from like, we could only book it for 7.30 till 9.30 and then go out, out after. But um, we're not going to do that anymore, um, which is sad. But yeah, they long story but we're just not doing that anymore we're just gonna go for dinner and drinks another day um so yeah we settled on london with the guy that i'm seeing um anyway joey and phoebes um my little cats they are getting 10 pounds so let's pop that in there so they now have 10 20 30 40 50 pounds which is great because their food subscription should be coming out soon which is 30 and then I've got another 20 for litter when that comes around. Don't need to buy any yet, so I might roll some of that over at the end of the month. Um, but for now, 50 is a great amount. Flat didn't get spent. Do I need anything for the flat? 
not off the top of my head, so I'm going to roll that over. And we'll pop in another five for this week, which, again, I shouldn't really be going out needing flat stuff, but we'll see what happens. Petrol isn't getting anything either. Date night is getting five pounds. It has a... Oh, it actually has ten pounds in there. I'm going to take one five out and put a ten in. And then there's fifteen in dates. That works, right? Yeah, because there was ten. Added five, fifteen. Yeah, okay, great. Um, miscellaneous didn't get spent. That's going off to one side for rollover as well. And five is going in miscellaneous. And then finally, food shop. Um, obviously spent all of that. Didn't have any change. And it is getting 20 for this week. But again, I've got enough food to last me the week. And obviously I'm going to be going for a few roast dinners. So I'll be surprised if I dip into that. But maybe I will. Who knows? So there we go. That's everything in the daily spending. All stuffed and ready to go. And then let's move on to my sinking funds. Flat sinking fund isn't getting anything sadly. Uh, gifts, let's have a look. Gifts is getting £10. So we've got 20, 30, 40, and now 50 pounds in gifts. Dentist is of course getting skipped. Christmas isn't getting anything. Neither is holiday, which is sad. Car is getting 15. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sure there's fives in here. We can make this work. Yeah, there it is. Right. That can go there. That can go there. Still need a new track. I will get it sorted. 15, it's getting right. Yeah, so take that out and put that in. <laughs> I hope. So there's 300 um, in the bank. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. Five, ten, four hundred and ten pounds, which is great. Yeah, because I had three hundred and ninety-five before. Just, just triple checking that my maths is correct. I did actually get a good grade in maths, believe it or not. You really wouldn't know watching these videos. So four hundred and five pounds. Um, and then savings is actually getting thirty-five. So 20, 30, and 35. So after adding that in, so far in December, I've now managed to save 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85 pounds. Which I'm still happy with because I'm... Um, on a low budget right now and there we go that's everything all stuffed so I'm just gonna now deal with the rollover of course so we've got 20 25 and 30 which isn't bad so this is my rollover envelope let's just <laughs> add that all in all right, we're just gonna do it this way So we now have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 pounds so far and we've got one more stuffing slash unstuffing to go. So that's everything done, dusted and dealt with. And now the last thing is the update. I feel like I've um, really hyped it up and maybe it's not that exciting but I'm pretty excited for it. So... 
it all started off pretty terribly I'm not gonna lie so obviously I've been anticipating um, my rent to go up at the end of my tenancy it did last year but it only went up by 25 pounds um, but obviously this year has been like horrible for people like interest rates going up on mortgages and stuff um, and my landlord did not hesitate to make me pay that um, so <laughs> he's trying to increase my rent from uh, by £125 a month um, I've also just recently if you've been watching my videos you'll know that my car got written off while it was parked on the road so I had to buy a new car and I'm now paying an additional £50 a month on top of my rent to park it in our car park because it has cameras and obviously I don't want to risk that again um, so within the last two months my rent is going up by £175 <laughs> So the budget that I'm doing at the minute is I have four cash stuffings a month, 500 pounds I split between the four stuffings, which is 125 each. And that's with me currently, <coughs> currently not contributing to my electric bill because I'm lucky enough that I was putting away 80 pounds. So that 500 pounds is just what I have left off after my bills and things are paid. Um, I always set aside every single month £80 for my electric. I don't have gas, it's just an electric um, place that I live in. Um, and yeah, luckily through the summer I wasn't using the full £80 a month. So I've got a bit of a cushion and that's what I'm using for my electric at the minute. So instead of just having £420, I now have £500 until that cushion runs out. And then they're trying to take another £125 a month from me as well. So it's all just a bit a lot. <laughs> and so I had a bit of a meltdown moment. If you also don't know the guy that I'm dating, we've been dating for a, quite a while. Um, he's actually one of my neighbours, that's how we met. Um, and obviously he's going through the same situation. Funnily enough, call it fate, but he actually moved in six days after me. Same year, same month. So obviously he's in the same boat with his rent going up by the same amount. Um, so what we're doing is we're kind of moving in together, which is sooner than we would like, but it's something, you know, we're not worried about it. He works up in the city half the time and his parents live in the city. So 50% of the time he's away from our area anyway. So he'd only really be here 50% of the time and the 50% of the time that he's here already we're always together so it, for us it was a no-brainer um it halves both of our bills i'll see him essentially the exact same amount of time and yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'm not sure exactly what the figures are i'm actually in the middle of negotiating with my landlord because it was a ridiculous price increase i think it was like over 10 percent price increase i don't know it went from 700 to um, 750 with the parking space and then with the 125 875 bearing in mind when I moved in my rent was 625 and that was only two years ago and now it's 875 it's just a joke anyway so that's the news that will be happening in at the end of January so I think I'll have one more month where we're kind of scraping by with our pennies and then I should have some more walking around money which will be amazing so yeah i'll let you know how the negotiations go whether he'll come down at all doubt it um but either way i'm certainly not as afraid <laughs> as i was i read the email and i was actually with him at his flat and i just burst out crying i was due on my period but i also feel like the fear was valid <laughs> um but yeah we talked it through we have a solution everyone's happy um and yeah it's it's a positive thing that come out of a really negative, scary situation. So, yeah, sorry for rambling. You probably didn't care about any of that. So sorry if you didn't. If you are still watching, thank you so, so much. Um, but the next video will be my December number four paycheck, which the budget restarts on the 1st of January, which I've just realised. New year, new budget.
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I feel like there was something I was just about to say and now I've completely lost it. Oh, I was going to say if I've uploaded this in time because I'm going to have to upload a few videos in pretty quick succession. Um, then I'll see you next year. But that's a big fat lie. The next video will be opening the time for change pot. Oh my god. I'm so excited. He's excited. I'm really excited. Stay tuned for that because that is going to be... I'm rambling again. I'm very excited about a lot of things but yeah um it's already passed by the time you're watching this but as i'm filming this it's not so i'm gonna say i hope you will have a lovely christmas or had a lovely christmas i hope you have slash had um a brilliant new year and all the things and thank you so much for your support bye